Hey guys, I'm gonna show you my little anime collection. Um, so as you can see, I got uh, PSP, a little bit of Pokemon games, um, full-size Yu-Gi-Oh mat, and then this is um, a YCS 200 uh, Yu-Gi-Oh mat, and I have it actually signed somewhere in here by the guy who voices Pegasus. Um, so down here, uh, we have the Gundam PSP games, uh, PSP game. Um, I don't see anybody talking about this game, uh, these games, and they're phenomenal. Like if you don't have, if you have a PSP and you don't have this, uh, this series, you should just pick it up. Uh, do yourself a favor. So I have Xenoverse 2, which in my opinion, I think this is probably the best Dragon Ball game you can get on the PS4 and the One at the moment. Um, that's just kind of my opinion. And then I feel the same for the Storm series. I've played both these games like way too much and uh, these are definitely the definitive games for each title. Um, so, Blu-ray, I've got JoJo's Part Zero. Uh, Bao. Um, I think this was a bootleg. Because uh, it didn't work at first and it kind of just started up on its own, but super cool. If you are a JoJo's fan, this is definitely a pickup for you. Uh, the 25th anniversary of Acura, um, definitely, uh, um, like a must if you have an anime collection. It's a very, very good film. You're going to want to watch it a bunch of times. I've done it. Um, this is the Trunks and Bardock special for this, the Z movies or TV specials or whatever. And, um, yeah, I like this a lot. I, I flipped the cover over quite a bit. On a lot of my releases because I like the art on the back of them. Um, as I did the same for my G Gundam release. This is part two. Uh, this is an okay series, but I think it comes together really well at the end. Um, well, I don't reuse animation though, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, I have Perfect Blue. I've got the G Kids re release. This is probably my most recent pickup. Um, what a hard film to watch, but God, is it very good. It's very, very good. It's worth your time. I'm going to pick up Paprika as well. Um, Cowboy Bebop, a series I had actually just finished with my landlord. Um, I love it. Holds a very special place to my heart. Uh, the movie, which is one of the first anime films I ever watched when I was a kid. I actually had it for a PSP. Um, very good, very good uh, kind of little extra part of the series. Um, so these are cool. So I have the uh, the original like Digimon movies, uh, like Dio Boromon and, and the Revenge of Dio Boromon. These are not cheap at all, but if you're able to pick them up, I suggest that you do. They're not in English at all, it's just straight Japanese with no subtitles, so have fun with that. Um, FLCO. So this is probably the most anime to ever anime, in the words of Bonsai Pop. Uh, Definitely my favorite of all time. I watched this when I was like 12, 13, and it was the perfect time to watch it. Um, Full Metal, uh, again, this is a series I just rewatched because I've been in quarantine or we've all been in isolation. Um, I, I, I love this series. I like it, a, I do like it more than Brotherhood, I will say, uh, simply for the fact that it's darker. And I watched it first, and it holds, it was, again, a special place in my heart, because I watched it very early on when I was a kid. Um, and then I have the movie, which I absolutely love. It's very long, but it's very, very good. Uh, definitely um, worthy, worthy of the award, and definitely worth your time. Death Note, um, essential for any anime collection. Um, you can, you know, along with, like, Acura, you can show in Cowboy Bebop, you can show these films to people who don't like anime and they'll like these. Um, next, I've got Black Lagoon. Bad Bitches with Guns. What's not to like? It's a complete collection with the Roberta uh, Blood Trail, which was kind of wild, actually. I watched that recently. Um, I don't have a lot of... I, I really don't like fan service. So you're not gonna, you're you're really gonna not find stuff like that. You're not gonna find isekais. You're not gonna find 
I need that weep shit. I just don't. I, it's not healthy for you. It's not. It's, it's none of it's good. And yeah, that's just my opinion. That's why I'm here to show you guys the good stuff. Um, Trigun. I wish I had the complete series in Blu-ray. I saw it on. I saw the bootleg somewhere, and I haven't been able to find it since. But this is a very good film. I like the uh, the first movie they did back in the '90s or early 2000s, but this is very good. Again, I like the art they did for this. Um, Vash is probably one of my favorite an an anime characters just of all time. Um, so these are probably the nicest things I have in my collection. Uh, I mean, it's not very big. Next to the Bacano box set, I'm probably going to buy soon. Um, but these are the Gundam Thunderbolt releases. And these are my favorite Gundam films. Uh, I don't have a lot of, like, Gundam stuff, but it probably... It probably is my favorite series of all time. I really enjoy the Gundam franchise. Uh, and these are like exquisitely animated. I mean, if you want to see some like, I mean, just jaw dropping, eye popping animation, uh, I suggest you watch these. I took a, a couch dose of shrooms one time and uh, I watched December Sky and it was like I was literally in space. Uh, this is the Bandit Flower. This, what was nice about this, and in my opinion, not as good as the first, but it was a lot longer. And it definitely, definitely had that good cliffhanger at the end, which I appreciated. Um, Broly movie, which I saw in theaters. Um, huge thank you to everyone who worked on this, on, on, on this film. I mean, this was a fantastic and beautifully animated film. I suggest anyone to go just check it out. Um, and then when I got in here, off to the side, I've got my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff. I'm not going to show them, but uh, there is a true Draco deck in here, and I've got some old Dragon Ball cards. Um, so i got some manga. <clears throat> Get down here. I will change the world. It's actually a novel. It's pretty good. Um, I suggest if you're a Death Note fan to pick it up. Uh, I have two of the Viz Signature or Signature Edition Junji Ito story collections. I love Junji Ito. I really do. Um, he's a very, very good um, just manga creator. Uh, and these are beautiful books. Oh my god, these are so nice. I'll have these for so long. Um, right now, um, I have to say I would prefer the Smash novel. Um, yeah, I like Smash quite a bit. This, this, this was definitely, I'm very happy to have these. Um, so let's see here. I have 9 through 21 of Dragon Ball. And as you can see, I really only buy things I, I, like, I like of the series. You know, I, I like Uzumaki and all that stuff, but this is, this is what... I own so I'm keeping and I won't get any more and this is the same with Dragon Ball um, I like the beginning of the Frieza stuff to the beginning of like the Bobbity stuff that's just what I like of the series and I always have um, my favorite part though is a lot of people actually don't like this part of the series I love 12 volumes 12 13 14 and 15 which is the Android arc or Android saga whatever the fuck you want to call them um, I love it. I love it very much. Um, let's see. Oh, and then just, I think in my opinion, the best way to consume Z is this, through the manga. Uh, so here is like a very, I'm very happy to own these. This is a recent pickup I got at the beginning of quarantine after I got sent back home to the States. Uh, I got trapped out of the ocean for a while. Long story. I was on a cruise ship. Um... These are the Viz single volumes, and I can't believe I was able to find these. Um, so I I didn't pull out the uh, the Dragon Ball novel or manga volumes because you've seen them all, but I don't know if everyone has seen the the Viz singles for these. But oh my god, these are so nice! I absolutely love JoJo's. I really do. Part three is not my favorite part, but again, I was exhilarated to find this. Find, find these um I'd say part four is my favorite um 
and then well I can't I've only wrapped to part six so I can't really give opinions on anything else I'll say part four is my favorite six is pretty good though I've heard I've heard eight is like just the best, so I can't wait to skip that part. I read JoJo's for like a year and a half, for like a year or so, and I just got like JoJo'd out. I think these last three here, like this one, and these last couple are my favorite. Yeah, I like that one quite a bit. And there you go. Um, let's see. Um, I think down here I just have some, uh, some spirit books and some uh, cult books and stuff like that. And, uh, here's some nice Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I got stuff signed by the guy from Pegasus. Um, these are they're just some old rare stuff. I collect a lot of the, uh, like the game secrets from back in the day. Stuff you can only find in the video game promotions. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, everybody. Thanks for your time, and take it easy.